Hello, I am Akari Shiro, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. Today I'm checking out the, uh, the next features update pack, which landed on September 9th, 2014. So this features pack changes uh, a lot of aspects of the game. I didn't think they'd be doing another one uh, from the first one that landed uh, earlier this year. So that's why there hasn't been any Living World updates lately. It's because they've been working on this feature pack. So I'm going to be going over some of the changes that have gone into the game, uh, my thoughts and opinions on them, and uh, just to see what's going on. So as soon as I logged in, I got a message about uh, some guild changes or something. I forgot to really note what I was reading. And for some reason, I have this chest here. I'm not sure what it is. Um, okay. Contains a lesser vision crystal, dark matter, and obsidian shards. Not sure why that was given to me and apparently I have these as well double click to consume Mad King finisher moves okay whoa <laughs> okay so here's uh, one of the changes so now you can preview the finishers for uh, PvP and uh, world versus world. So here we have the basic one. A rabbit one. And just all the different kinds of uh, finishers. So that's actually really cool that you can preview those now. So now you can see what they look like before you buy them. Huh. I've actually never seen some of these. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Huh, so there's a bunch in here. Super explosive? Oh. So, I don't want to go through all of these. That might take a little while. That one's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, that one's one of the new ones. Jeez. <laughs> Some of those are pretty cool. This one, I think, I've been hit by that one a couple times. Alright, so that's, uh... I guess I'll just use these and add them to my... Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up. I'm not even sure why I got this. Okay, well, that's nice, I guess. And I also got this mail. Unified Guild Chapters. Yeah, this is, the, this is the message I got when I logged in. Guilds no longer have world-based chapters or world boundaries. Influence, merits, upgrades, and bake items have been merged. We've gone ahead and finished building all upgrades in your queue and have refunded duplicates. So one of the changes are for guilds, uh, you don't have to worry about being on separate servers now and having a uh, different uh, upgrades and such on each server it's now all unified so you can now you know recruit people on other servers and not have to worry about that as much you also might see that there's a lot of different colored commander tags down here and uh, let's see here how do I so the commander tag has been changed as well so now you can change the color of your tag go with red and uh, so that's kind of cool and it's also now been giving to all the characters on your account so if you had a uh, commander tag on multiple accounts beforehand uh, that should have been refunded to you if you had uh, multiple tags so the cost for commander beforehand was a hundred gold and they've changed the cost now so let's go ahead and uh, 
find the NPC. I believe he's over here somewhere. Oh, I still can't. That one's still contested. That one's kind of annoying. So I believe they've changed the cost of uh, the commander to 300 gold and 250 of the world versus world tokens. I can't remember what they're called. I'll just get to the NPC right up here. So let's see here. Okay, he doesn't have it anymore. Maybe it doesn't show up if I already have it. Okay. <laughs> so there's also been some changes to the trading post. So let's go ahead and check that out. Whoa. Okay, this is definitely different. So it's got... Recently viewed my delivery box here. When you buy or sell on the trading post, the items and funds will show up here. Okay. So if I click on this, okay, it's going to bring up a list of things. Okay, so these are the bags I can select. So if I select this, no items. Okay. So that would be this bag here. Of course, I wonder if I can still... Can I still right-click things and just sell that way? Okay. And this is all different as well. Current buyers, current sellers. I think I kind of like the way it looked before. That it was just going to take me a while to get used to this. I did end up, uh, from my previous videos, you saw that I probably had a bunch of the back items for that, uh, that new back item from the living world. I ended up tossing all of them and selling the Foxfire because I decided that I didn't feel like crafting it. And they were taking up a lot of in inventory space. So let's see here, how do I... Oh. So I can go back to buy items. Oh, I didn't think you could buy those. They're certainly expensive. <laughs> huh, I had no idea you could even buy and sell those. I haven't done the uh, fractals in so long. So and they have all the filters here. May Lissa aid you. It's kind of uh Oh, and you can search by class. Only show available. Search by skins. Certainly different. <laughs> I 
I don't know, looking at it, I think I kind of liked the old system more. This one's just a little... I don't know, maybe it's just too new and too different for me. I always hate adapting to a new system when you've gotten so used to... You know, just playing the game as long as I have, you're just so used to the way it is. And then they go and change it. It's awkward. So that will definitely take me a little bit of getting used to. So they still have the currency exchange here. The gem store. So I think they added some new things to the gem store. Yeah, there's a deal for the minis. Okay, so that's the new trading post. Now they've also made a few changes to the wardrobe. Let's go ahead and check that out. Um, so you can also, yeah, you know, here's one of the changes here is uh, you can now add miniatures to your wardrobe. And the cool thing is, is you can preview these now. So that's actually a really cool addition. Because I've always, sometimes I've browsed through the auction house and I've looked at minis, but I, I kind of wanted to know what they looked like before I bought any of them. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I never bought any of them. Because I, I didn't, I wasn't really sure what they looked like. And so now you can actually go in here and pretty much preview all of them. Which is actually really awesome. I'm really glad they added that. That's pretty cool. I might have to uh, get some more minis now. Not seeing the ones that I actually do have. Different outfits. So let's see here. I know I have some miniatures in there somewhere. I thought I saw them a moment ago when I logged in, but now I don't see them. <laughs> let's see here. They also added in... Some, let's see here, what would that be under? Some new back items. So each, I guess each craft has a new back item. So like, there's a cooking and armor and all that kind of stuff. I think these might be it. Let's see here. So that looks like Artificer there. Oh yeah, it says right there. Huntsman. So I should be able to make that. So I'll take a look at that here in just a moment. Let me preview these real quick. These are pretty cool. Weatherman. Taylor. Let's see here, Weaponsmith. Wow. <laughs> see here, where's the armor smith? Is it up here? There it is. So that's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of different ones. Or innate ones. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so I, I'm guessing they get upgraded or something. As you progress through the levels, simple ones. So let's go ahead and take a look at my crafting and see what I can do about the back items. 
let's see here. I don't know if it's a recipe I have to buy or if it's just given to me. Oh yeah, there they are. Right there. Simple. Hunts Huntsman backpack. Uh, there's quite a few of them. So what exactly do these do? This equipment can hold an additional upgrade. And equip this back pack to use it as a crafting ingredient. Using this as a crafting ingredient will destroy any upgrades held within. I didn't see them. Okay. So sure what they do exactly. Looks like they just have an upgrade slide. It doesn't look like they add any stats or anything. Looks like they slowly get upgraded as you go down the craft line. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, though, that they uh, added these. So this one has an upgrade slot and an offensive infused slot. What about this last one here? Oh, it looks the same. Ah, defenses. Defensive infused slot. So I guess each craft has uh, these new back items, which I guess is pretty cool. I might make those just to get the uh, the appearance of them. So it doesn't look like they actually help with gaining levels or anything. It doesn't say they do. I thought maybe they might help with maybe getting XP. I haven't maxed out my uh, my craft to 500 just yet, as you can see. I was trying to at one point, but then I just kind of stopped bothering. I would like to eventually so that I can get my ascended weapon. But I just haven't really bothered with it. So I'm guessing weather is pretty much the same. So you'll probably see a lot more adventurers running around with nifty new backpacks after this update, which is kind of cool. I mean, having back items is usually kind of hard to, to get. Wow, that's... <laughs> Big old bear on the back of that thing. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'll have to log in on my other characters and check out the others. I have uh, Taylor on my Elementalist, Cooking on my Guardian, and so forth. I have uh, about 400 in all the crafts at least. So let's see here. Let's look at this long list of updates. Alright, so the fall tournament begins on the 12th of September and will last for four weeks. Uh, the commander tag is 300 gold and 250 badges of honor. And that's what they were called. So, for the leveling up for new players, going back to, uh, to that, a new teaching and reward system has come to Guild Wars 2. Skill unlock requirements for some profess professions, such as Elementalist, Attunements, and Necromancers, uh, Death Shroud, have moved. Elementalist and Moved Attunement will remain in it until they change. That attunement will be reacquired upon reaching the new level requirement. 
So I'm guessing they changed the uh, the attunements for Elementalist and such. I've never played Necromancer, so I'm not really sure how that works. They've changed, or they've added a system in the top right corner of the UI that points out nearby level appropriate content for uh, lower level people. They reduce the amount of time it takes to reach level 15. So I guess you'll be leveling a little quicker on new characters. Reduced low level complexity. In an effort to reduce early game complexity, enemies that cause conditions, enemies with attacks that require players to dodge, and bundle items were removed from low level areas. And added a simple dodging tutorial to the racial starting areas. I don't think that was really necessary of them to do. And uh, I think having that kind of stuff early on kind of helps you better prepare yourself from when they actually do uh, happen. And it certainly, like when I first started playing the game, it didn't, it didn't feel like it was super complex or anything like that. It felt pretty straightforward to me. So I feel like uh, that kind of change didn't really need to happen. I don't think they needed to uh, dumb it down. I think uh, people are more or less pretty smart <laughs> and they know how to deal with things. So they've improved the level flow in some of the starting maps, uh, reduced the difficulty of some low level veterans and champions. Personal story steps have been more clearly broken up into chapters that unlock every 10 levels so that each chapter can be played through immediately once it's unlocked. Players that were already part way through a chapter may find themselves under leveled or for any of the story chapters or over leveled for some of the chapters of 7 and 8. And uh, they've added some changes to some of the maps. Uh, one of them, uh, Gendaren Fields, which is the map I uh, am often found in. The Harathi Centaurs and their allies have been called in, have called in an elite reinforcements and champions to assist them in capturing Nebo Turrets from the Seraph. So that's. Uh, around here there's usually a pretty big event so I guess uh, elites and possibly champions will now appear in that event and has been upgraded to a group event now there was also this town here this was already kind of a group event but uh, I've actually been able to solo that event myself before but that might be a little harder if they've actually added in elites. Other than that, some of the other maps got a couple bug fixes and uh, changes. Some of the crafting UI has changed. I didn't see too many changes there. Let me take another look at it. They have kind of changed uh, some of the font here, and uh, they tell you, oh, what's this? View recipe? Oh, I see. Well, that's kind of cool. So let's see here, let's go to a lake here. So you can uh, now do a search on an item, I guess. It'll take you straight to the item and tell you what's needed there. That might actually be really helpful for uh, cooks. Because cooking just requires so much different items that you need. Cooking's probably the hardest one to do, maybe? because it just requires so many different ingredients for several different recipes. Ah. 
It's pretty much the really different crafting out of all of them. Let's see here. So there's just this giant list of uh, class changes. I'm not really going to go through those because that would take me pretty much all day. <laughs> buy selling. So other than that, there's been a couple of changes to the black line chests. So they've added uh, weapon tickets and ticket scraps have a increased drop rate, which is uh, probably good. Other than that, there's not too many more changes. Not that I'm seeing at the moment. So this video is probably going to be boring for the most part, I would say. <laughs> it's not a whole lot going on. It's just uh, mostly an update, a feature pack update. So there's no real gameplay changes. outfit so I did uh, I did manage to pick up that commander tag before it increased in price because I didn't feel like saving up 300 gold for that and I wanted to get it cheap while I could and I wasn't sure if I could buy more and then sell them on the auction house you could sell them before but I didn't want to risk the gold So, my overall thoughts on the changes, I don't really know if I like the changes to the black lying uh, trading post. I kind of like the way it looked before. I do like that you can now preview the finishers and miniatures, so that's a nice addition. Um, they've made leveling up easier for lower level players, so I guess it's even better to get into the game now if you haven't or maybe to uh, level Ugh, some lower Nash level alts. Going to wipe us all out. Yeah, I knew he had it made when Keel appointed him the Lion Guard Quartermaster. The there is a lots of different colored icons now for uh, commanders and it's cool that it unlocks for each character now. So that was kind of always a pain I thought in the past. Because I had considered getting it before for different purposes, but I didn't feel like spending 100 gold on each character. So that's a nice addition. So I'm not sure when the next Living World is going to happen. I imagine now that this uh, feature pack is out, it'll probably be out hopefully in the next two weeks or so. Uh, next week on the 16th, uh, a free-to-play MMO called Arc Age is going to be released. I will be doing a video on that game and giving my first impressions and overview of that game. I did play a bit of the open beta before it closed. and uh, So I look forward to playing that one and uh, talking about that one see if it's uh, really worth your time. I'll probably be be comparing it to Guild Wars 2. And then uh, later this month, on the 30th, uh, Shadows of Mordor should be coming out. And I plan to be doing a playthrough of that game. So you can also look forward to that. So, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. I mean, there's not a whole lot going on. I was kind of hoping there'd be a bit more. I know there's a bunch of skill changes and such, but I'm just... I'm probably not going to be that bothered to go through all of those. I'll probably log in on each of my characters just to overlook some of the stuff, but... You know, whatever changes are probably going to be mostly minor. 
Yeah, nothing like game breaking or game changing. I know some of my pet skills I think have changed as well. But for the most part, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching. Sorry if this was boring. I will be back with hopefully more interesting content. I know that I haven't been releasing a lot of videos on my channel lately. I kind of stopped playing Watch Dogs because uh, I got a little bored with that one. But I'll be going back to that eventually. I've also been playing a lot of Planetside 2. And uh, I might be recording some of our uh, multiplayer sessions with that. I've had uh, a couple requests to record that. But anyways, thank you for watching, like, favorite, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.